Hello, hello. <clears throat> Sorry, hello. Welcome back to Nikki the Analyst. So today, making a video of how to do rock, paper, scissors. I know we've been working on object-oriented programming. I'm doing a lot of things. This is my second to last video in the 100 Days of Python series. So I wanted to take a step back do something fun, something, you know, bringing up, using those old muscles um, that we haven't worked out in a while for the big major project that is going to be the last video, which that one's going to be very daunting. So just going to do something quick and easy, not quick and not necessarily easy, but, you know, a little different. So rock, paper, scissors. Do we all know rock, paper, scissors are? Rock, paper, Scissors, you know, it's a game, you pay with two people, it's how you get out of paying a bill. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. And so with this, we're going to import random. Because when you're playing rock, paper, scissors, you want it to be random. Because if I know what you're going to pick, like playing with my son who's four, I know what you're going to pick. So it's easy to win. But I got to pretend. I got to know he's going to pick rock every time. I got to go, oh, yeah, scissors. But I never understood how paper covers rock. Oh, but anyways. So we're going to import. So we're going to print. And yeah, actually, this I am going to copy over from my notes because this is very long. And we already know what a print statement is. Print statement is just literally making a statement versus input. You got to input something in. So we're going to paste. So let me go ahead and read this out to you. So it says winning rules of rock, paper, scissors game as follows rock um oh yeah this right here that means you're gonna push it to another line so rock versus scissors uh paper wins rock versus no rocks versus paper paper wins rock versus scissors rock wins paper versus scissors scissors wins so let's go ahead and see what that looks like so far you see is that great this is what we have this at the end for because we don't want one long line we want it to move over to the next line so didn't have to type that out um, so we're going to create a while loop because we're going to go in a loop until we get done. Cause you know, when you're playing, you just keep going until you're done. Right. And let me do looking at my notes. And for some reason it's okay. All right. So I have to keep doing that. Let's take care of it now. So we're going to do a while loop. Okay. So while true. Print, we got our parentheses, and we got enter choice. And we're going to want to skip it to the next line again. So we're going to have that um, backslash in one for rock, because we got to give you the directions. How are we going to play this with the computer, right? And then we went on the next line. We have one for rock. Next line, two for paper. And then forward slash in, three, four, scissors. Okay. So, you know what? Actually, we'll leave that alone. We'll come back to, I think if we try to print this now, it, since loop side closed, we might get an error. Okay. Oh, you see? It's going to keep going. You see how it's doing that? Because we're in a loop. So, you got to press stop. Yes. See what happens? So, I got to close your loop. That's what happens, I forgot. Now keep going and going and going. So we have our print statement. And like, as we just shown, it will keep doing that until we tell it to stop. All right, so now you gotta make a choice, right? So we're gonna name it choice. We're gonna name this function choice. And you're gonna have an integer because you're gonna put in one, two, or three and the computer doesn't know what you're doing. So we gotta let it know it's an integer. But, oh. There we go. And then we're in input, and we want also to put that in parentheses. Oh, wrong button. So we're going to, so remember, input, they're going to put an answer. So we're going to, I mean, a response. User turn, um, put user turn, okay? And then we're going to close that parentheses, right? And we're not going to do the loop thing again. <laughs> so now who, the user, me, are you, when you do it yourself, you're gonna to have to put an input a number. So we'll put while choice greater than three, our choice is one, 
twice. True jar. And we're gonna put an input. And we'll put entered valid input. Just in case somebody tries to be funny and put it in five. Well, that's not an option, okay? Put in some one, two, three. All right, so I got that all settled, right? Okay, so now let's do our choices what they mean. So if your choice is equal to one, then choice, score name equals rock. L if voice equals two choice name equals paper okay then we have else uh yeah, we don't have to write all that in because it's the last one. So it, so the computer's gonna know from reasoning, if there's not one, two, there's only three left. You can put choice equals three if you want. Um, you, you know, if you wanna do that for efficiency, um, but maybe let's say your boss, you're doing this for work and your boss goes, no, I want it there. Then, you know, just do what your boss says, don't argue. Just go, hey, if that's what you want me to do, then great. But if your boss is a micromanager, you'll be like, great, let me do that and chill out. All right, so now we're gonna have to print user choice. And I'm making sure if you look, since we're in this while loop, everything is indented. And remember this if statement, or even in this while statement, it has to be indented underneath that because if not, it reads on the same line. So everything on here, it reads as one, like this is, you know, just basically one paragraph, but you know, you go in here, it's another, you gotta go inside. So remember, let's make sure our intentions and right and are correct. And that's what I'm looking at. Oh, looks like I spelled the word valid wrong. I need to fix that. All right. Okay, so we put in, we did our choices. So now we need to print user choice. So we know what your choice is. And we're still in this while loop, right? So we're just to, just to kind of break things up. Um, you know what? One thing that we've been learning that we don't really do a lot, we're just going to go ahead and put hashtags in there. Because remember, you put anything, anything that has a hashtag in front of it, um, your, the system isn't going to read. So we're going to do print user choice. Because um, I'm going to upload this to GitHub. And you know, what are you like? What is she doing? That's why you put notes in there. So you know, we'll just put some notes in here. Doesn't hurt. Print and put user choice is. Oops. We put this in here. And then we're going to go outside parentheses and put choice name. Okay. So it's going to put those, it's going to put that together. So it's going to, so the system is going to, I spelled the word choice wrong. So the system is gonna um, spit out the words. User, gosh, I can't do this. User choice is, but then it's gonna put choice name, which is right here, whatever I put. So you read it back to you. I'm gonna make another print statement. And here, and another line. Now it's the, Computer turn. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, see, what's the computer going to do? Okay, now from here, and you know, let's put this in our notes. The computer is going to choose a random number. Um, um, between one and three, like we did, well, one and three, right? And, oh yeah, but let's say, um, using a rand 
integer rand int method. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to put computer choice. We're going to call it comp choice, right? We got comp choice, right? And that's going to equal random dot rand int. And we got to put what numbers one through three. And we worked on things like this before. We have done random and rand int. So, and we're going to put another while loop, while comp choice equals choice, comp choice equals random dot rand int one comma three. I keep putting two. Okay, let's get out of this while loop. When I say get out of this while loop, we're going to come out of that engine. Um, so we're going to redo what we did before if we, for our choice. So we're going to retype this out, but we're going to do it for the computer. So if the comp, pushing, okay, there we go. If comp choice is equal to one, what do we get? We get choice. Oh, we got the comp choice. Comp choice. Ah, gosh, my typing is off. Comp choice name equals rah, right? Right? Because that's what we did. See, we're doing the same thing we did up here, and we're just putting it down here. And you know what? So we don't have to keep doing things. We're going to go ahead and copy and paste. It's okay to copy and paste as long as you know what you're, whenever well, you don't know why you're copying and pasting, you always go back and check. So, but nothing wrong with copy, copying, copying and pasting. Te, ah, copy and pasting. We're not copying and pasting. Okay, so we got that all done. So, and we're going to do the same thing we did over here print the computer choice. Um, the, the computer choice and, you know, all that. So we're going to come out of there, right? So we're going to put this all on the same line and let's just make, you know, here. So print computer choice is, and we did this before, and then we're going to put up choice name, right? So we want to the computer did. And then we're going to print choice name plus, well, forgot something very important. Choices. So we're going to do comp, no, choice underscore name, our, our choice. And I spelled that right. Okay. Plus the S oh, hold on, I'm looking at my parentheses. I put them in the wrong places. It's okay. okay let me thank you. All right. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, this is so funny sometimes. Why will not let me do certain things? I'll be keeping that weird. There we go. What's going on with my laptop? Oh, I think it changed the, uh, oh, yep, I think my, hold on, my computer, there we go. Yep, something's up with the keyboard. Okay, keyboard's printing out something different. 
know why my keyboard was did that earlier today, but need to check out. I think I'm pressing certain buttons on my computer and changing my keyboard language. One moment, we're gonna pause the video so we can come back and fix this. So let's go ahead and pause this recording. Where's the button to do that? All righty, my keyboard is back on in English. Uh, ich lerne Sie sprechen Deutsch. So uh, my uh, keyboard went from US style to uh, German. So yeah, uh, I had to fix that because I'm not typing in German right now. Uh, so. All right, and this is what Google's for. Why is this my keyboard? <laughs> Typing in English. Okay. And now we're going to write the conditions for winning. Okay. So if uh, let's see if choice equals one and comp computer choice equals two or Okay, make sure that we're ready. You know, actually, I'm just going to write all, all one line because I have a feeling it's with all the. Yeah, I think my. Uh, it's not going to probably end well. Okay, choice equal two and comp, oops, and comp choice equal one. Oops. Oh, that's a whole nother line. What am I doing? There we go. Print paper wins. There you go. And I hear my kids playing in the background. They're having so much fun without me. Uh, result equals paper, right? So we have a couple of those LFs, and we're just going to want to copy and paste. Because we know what we're doing at this point, you know? How many videos in are we? How many days are we into 100 days of Python? We know what we're talking about. Even if you haven't been doing the 100 days and you've just been following along with the videos, I think we're good to copy and paste, okay? It's, if I was at work, I would copy and paste this. Okay, and we're like print, printing either user or computer. Wins. Okay, let's make sure everything is okay. Aligned, aligned. Okay, if result choice name print parentheses is wins. Hey, there you go. All right, else print well, we can go ahead and do it like this. I like putting things in. I, I kind of like not like just kind of putting both the things that will be on the both ends. Just kind of typing it out like that. That's just my way. I know not everyone does it that way. Okay. Let me do print. Do you want to play again? Just work. Oh, let's put that parentheses. Yes. No. 
All right. Okay. Answer. Close and good. There we go. And oh, if answers equals in or answers equals in break. And that's how I'm going to break the while loop. So, and then we put right. Thanks for playing. All right, let's see what we got here. See if we type this out. Let's run it. Uh oh, syntax error. Where is it? Line 63. Oh. All right, remember debugging your stuff. Let's run it again. All right, enter choice. We're going to do, I like to start off with scissors. Let's do three. Computer is paper, scissors versus paper. <laughs> paper. Uh, I spelled that wrong. It's okay. Scissors versus paper. Uh, oh, it's a posting versus. But there should be in a space. Uh, why would you just type it like this? And then put that space. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Do you want to play again? Yes. Let's play again. Um, this time we're gonna go for rock, okay? Uh rock versus paper, paper wins, computer wins. Do you want to play again? No. Nope. We'll play this game again. All right, um, let's actually, um, let's rerun this with the correction. All right, um, user turn, we'll do two for paper. Uh, computer choices rock, rock versus paper. Paper wins, computer wins. Do you wanna play again? No, we do not wanna play again. And you know, it's not giving us our things for playing. How rude, but Oh, because it's still in the loop. Let's try this again. Let's do rock. User wins. You know what? Since I'm going to play again, uh, I'll play three. Ah, Peter wins, so I don't want to play anymore. No. Thanks for playing. Got it out of the loop, and here we are. This is great. Our next video will be the last video. It's going to be, might be kind of long, might be intensive, but there are fun things coming. After this 100 days of Python, I'm studying for other things and there's tutorials to show you. So don't think that Python's gone and I'm never teaching you Python again. There'll be Python videos, I promise. I will continue with the Python videos, but there are other videos coming um, with a different picture and a different thumbnail. So yes, keep it going, keep coming, subscribe. One last video for the 100 days of Python and excited that you stuck around this far. Thank you.